Hey guys, and welcome back to Something's Wrong with Sunny Day Jack. And today I'm gonna like click on this. I saw after I ended the game before, like it came back to this screen, and it showed these two options: Afterlife and Audio Tracks. I haven't clicked on them yet. Uh, I'll click on Afterlife. I don't know what Afterlife means. I don't know if someone died or not, but yeah. So no, this. You know, after ending the game before, I realized Nick, like, Jack could probably make himself known to other people if he wanted to. But he chooses not to, right? Or am I the only one thinking that? It is May 25th, 2000 something. I was on box number 15. Thank God I was, because I was just about to lose all hope. The move has been spotty, yes, somewhere in our youthful naivety. Ian and I decided it was no longer necessary to each own a separate car. It was love save us on gas, we said. It will be our shared baby, we said. It will mean less insurance build, we say. But when push came to shove, and we needed this car to pull through now more than ever, it didn't have enough trunk space to fit even half of Ian's things in it. Fast forward five trips, to and from the college, boxing up my things and driving them to our new apartment, and then doing the same for all of his. That was horrible, and we both agreed to never do it again. With 15 boxes into unpacking all that, the driving back and forth was beginning to feel like the easy part. I stink like I could feel a musk like aura around me. I was so sweaty, I was having flashbacks to the day my fifth grade PE teacher had to take me aside and teach me what deodorant was. That's terrible. My knees were sore, my legs were numb, the carpet had been taken to imprinting its woven texture into my flesh. I've been down there for so long. Honestly, probably could have really used a break and a shower, but having everything in such disarray was keeping me from being able to relax. Bubble wrap and tape, boxes torn into pieces or kicked in for funsies. And somewhere in this mess, there was a box cutter on the floor, but I had no idea where it was at this point, so that was just going to be to have to be a front surprise to find out later. I didn't think it was just possible to be so tired and sickly and stuffy and ready to explode. I need some room and breath breathing room. I needed just a little space. Hey, pizza's here. Okay, this is our ex boyfriend Ian. I guess it's for the breakup. Oh, thank God. I don't think I've ever been so quick in my life standing up. If I moved like that in high school, I would have definitely made track for sure. Yes, yes, oh god, it's about time. Easy now, it's still hot. Because who has two thumbs and got there just in time for them to run out? So then they had to go make an entirely new fresh one just for him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Right. So, seriously, be careful. The cheese is really hot. Plates are in the bag. Alrighty. Thank you for letting us know. Ian sets down the bait box pizza that's already grease soaked enough to feel like the heavy disc of cheese and sauce inside will fall through the bottom in any second. <sighs> yes! I was about to do literally eat my shirt. I open the box and wave of, the wave of heat and cheese smell floods outwards. It's golden and glorious. Don't you think we're like a bit old to be eating cheese pizzas still? What do you mean old? Is there a specific age to be eating cheese pizzas? That's weird. <laughs> Ian grabs a slice after I do and we both begin to race to see who can down the most molten grease the fastest. <laughs> Maybe we should be past this phase. What about 
about trying a combination pizza next time. Uh... Okay, but with all these toppings on top, you don't get the baked cheese top. Right. Right. Okay. Almost as if to demonstrate my point about the superiority of cheese pizza, he takes a long, stringy bite that stretches what looks to be half a foot long. And... It's in that moment, I can't help but just think. There's really no place I'd rather be. Growing up, there weren't too many options for best friends. For one reason or another, the flighty and unfocused minds of toddlers who turned up to Mrs. Grigman's first grade class didn't seem to interest in developing deep, meaningful friendships. The only one who seemed to want a friend was a kid who never seemed to have any. That was Ian. Ian wasn't particularly loud and he didn't have cool clothes or toys. It was just kind of faded into the background. A lot of kids made fun of him. But in the end, not only made him an even better friend once I got to know him. He was a nerd, and he was silly, and he was a very apologetically himself, but what we had was special. Here we are, years and years down the line, getting an apartment together, going to college together. I could spend the rest of my life like this. Are you alright? Um, yeah, I think so. I snap out my blissful trance. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm alright. You're totally spacing on me. Is everything okay? Of course, of course, no, I was just thinking about how nice this is all going to be. You really think so? Oh, uh, yeah. I know so. Oops. later I won't be upset but I, I, I really hope that this isn't uh, too weird it's supposed to be weird why would it be weird we're a thing right like a couple I've known you since you're still wetting the bed Okay. My point is, nothing you could do would be weird. And I'm hoping nothing I could do would be weird either. Ian pauses and gives a downcast glance at the floor. Well, it, isn't it sinful? 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 Why would this be sinful? Ian. His face doesn't just fall. It falls through the floor. My mom called me. Someone gave her our address. Oh. She might have had one of her friends watching. I don't know. The heck? She, she said. She says that. Oh my god, your mother is that kind of crazy. Wedlock. Nah, your mom's just crazy, trust me. She said I'm only doing it to, to satisfy uh, my my manhood. What the hell? <laughs> I, I, I'm not taking advantage of you by doing this, am I? Oh, you're not. Normally, under any other circumstances, I tell someone what they want to hear. But I know Ian. I cut out the, the middle man and just hold him. I hold on to him tight, like he's going to run away or melt or fall if I don't.
He holds me back after a while. Promise me that. You want this too? Of course. I, I know me. she's just being mean, but I love you. I just need to hear you say it. Alrighty. I love you, Ian, and if I didn't love you, I wouldn't be here. He clings to me even more. Ian has a bit of a cry, but after that we move, block his mother's phone number and move on. We have as much pieces, pizza as we can stomach, but after a while the delicious, savor-like qualities of pizza turned into dairy overload and we called it quits. the unpacking out here and that's just about it right should be although i did find one other box drawers mixed in another one huh. i don't remember having any others my room is oh whoops hmm well if it was in your dorm so it's got to be yours I bring it into a small box sitting among the refuse and remains of my unpacking spree. Kneeling down, Ian pulled the strip of tape, sealing the box shut away, and opened it up. Oh! Uh, right! Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> you do? This is Momonga. Damn. And I just got my shelves all situated. <laughs> Ian flips through a few of them. There are a mix of matte covers with doggy ear corners and glossy, almost laminated covers that look brand new. It will be nice to put all these out in the open. No more hiding. My little Vic. Oh. Victory dance. You know, this is our home. Nobody can tell us what to do anymore. He was right. He had to keep that stuff with me or read it in the library before. Dirty picture books, his mom called them. But now he was finally free to enjoy all that stuff. He and placed the books back into the box and closed it up again. Come on. Let's go christen my room with these bad boys. Girls, girls, books. <laughs> Alrighty. Ah, dang it. Whatever, we're in Ian's room now. Ian sets the box down on his bed and begins unloading it in brick like stacks. Tribulation is an A, so that'll be easy. Solution of the Reckless is on a pretty full shelf, though. Th that's the S's. So, uh, I'll have to move the entire shelf one down. He thoughtfully studied his bookshelf with the intensity of an archaeologist studying hieroglyphics. Higher Hieroglyphics. I sat there and looked at the pretty pictures in the book. There are a few nice ones and a few that I'm not too interested in. A lot of these dates so far back, I'm getting flashbacks. Glomping yaoi paddles, those cookie sticks that you bought because they were cute to take pictures with even though they weren't all that satisfying. I have to stop myself from visibly cringing when one of the books mentions those felt cat ear tats that everyone in school had to have at some point. <sighs> and he continued to pick through as he carefully spices each edition into his collection. Huh? Honey trumpet? I fish out a book featuring a tall, handsome boy with glasses. He's not muscle bound, and he's kind of a bean pole. But from my experience, that's what consists. 
consists use and the unattractive in these. He's holding onto what I can only assume is a blushing love interest in tight clothing. I jump right into the middle of the... Oh, wow. What? Hey, you... Oh. You all right? His voice acting. <laughs> Sentimental to me. Except that one. Nah. Before I know it, the book is gone. Ian is clutching the book in his arms, looking red as a tomato. Oh, is that that was stuff? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Don't say that. So what is it then? At this point, I can't help but peer into the box again. Scantily clad characters sit in provocative poses, cover to cover. There's not much left in there at this point, but that's at least a dozen. So that's a lot of. Oh come on! I just told you, it's not porn. You're sure it isn't? There's almost a crack to his voice, reminiscent of days past. Ian grabs the box off the bed and shoves the book in it promptly. These are mostly Gojin sheep. Fan comics. You get them because you like the main series. <laughs> no, I don't really know. <laughs> he looks at me almost offended. It's definitely that. Alright, so if it's not, you know, can I see more? I was still looking at those. I know you aren't going to put them under your bed or something. It's not porn. Why would I put them under my bed? Because why not? Uh, wait, wait. What do you mean under my bed? What are you doing under my bed? Ah, that's my cue to leave. Hey! Don't just run away! Uh, uh, come on! Don't be a jerk! If we have seen the crime giggling like I'm a kid again. I'm being serious! You're not going under my bed, are you? That's a violation of my privacy! You don't know what I keep down there! <gasps> Are you gonna keep weird down there? How do I tell him I was bluffing? I don't think he'll believe you. I run into my room and immediately go to hide. The last place he'd look would be behind the door, so I make the hardest U-turn of my life and pull the door as over me as possible. Ian follows after, but doesn't seem to pay any mind to me from my advantageous position. I may just be safe yet. Oh, he got us. <laughs> gotcha! Ian bulldozes me, coming in like a freight train and plowing the two of us directly onto the bed. I get in laughing, feeling, failing mess of people. I try and push him off. I try to get my own leverage. I think he tries to choke hold by like a long but stretched down his arm. Oh, that's so weird. Ah, 
He sits back on the bed and dries his arm on the blankets and his lap. What are you? Five? I only blow a raspberry at him and the two of us collapse in laughter. Chest heaving from the exchange, I let my hand find his and hold it gingerly. FYI, I've never been under your bed. I just know that's the cliche <laughs> hiding spot for guys who still buy a uh, <laughs> I don't know where thing go. Still not born, but I prefer to support the creators. Making comics is hard, and I'm a connoisseur of the arts. I'll add, you know. Really now. Oh man, my computer's slow today. This really sucks. We both laugh again. He seems less upset about it all now. We lay in silence, staring at the ceiling for a sweet and calm moment. So, for real, are we going to talk about this? What's there to talk about? Part of me wonders if he's genuinely upset, but another half of me feels like he may have really been hiding things from me. And if it's something like sexy maids and cat people, I can handle that. But if he feels like he needs to hide things from me, I don't want him to have to live like that. Look, I don't care what you do in your free time, so as long as you're not seeing anyone else or something. You know I'd never do that. I know. I'm talking about whatever kind of stuff you like. You don't have to hide it. He shifts uncomfortably next to me on the bed. I squeeze his hand. I know. Deep down, I know. Can I be honest? He fidgets more. It sounds cliche as hell, but I seriously read it just for the story. You're the only person I can see like that. Just you. Other people are weird. I don't know them. But I love you. And I love doing <laughs> things. I want to be able to make you feel as good as those guys in the books. <laughs> You're using the books as references? <laughs> I only think about you. He really is such a squirrely bundle of nervousness. I wrap him in my arms and nuzzle into his little torso. I can hear a sharp inhale afterwards and felt the relaxing of his body as he slowly got comfortable in the embrace. I feel him melt into me. It's not like this is the first time I've done this with him. Growing up, we got used to holding each other. Letting each other ride out the worst of whatever we, whatever we were feeling. It was almost cute how he still needed me to hold him like this. But I'd also be lying if I said I wasn't fond of myself. You okay? Yeah, I, I think I am. He shifts his weight, pressing against me. It's cozy against him, and I'd be content to stay like this forever. Till I feel something. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Is this again? Alright, I can't read this. I cannot read this out loud. No, I don't think there's anything there. 
really should stop, though. Uh, <laughs> You're saying, no, I swear to God, something's down there. No, there's nothing down there. Trust me. Trust, trust him. Me and him squirmed more on the bed. The sheets were so messed up at this point. Was it a wallet or something? Maybe he knew what it was. Why are you so interested? I thought she's wallet plenty of times and... Ian grips my shoulders tightly, whimpering softly into my ear. Ian, Ian, are you okay? I was trying to tell you... Uh, that's... me. Oh. Universe's gaze. Yeah, but... Want me to go? For anyone else, this might be a tad awkward, but he's just not anyone else. No, stay. All right. Good then. Alrighty, you're back from. <laughs> hey, I didn't think of this after that. Ugh. If I'm at the bed, Ian follows me like a puppy, snuggling up with me beneath the covers. He's shy about a lot of things, but affection isn't one of them at the moment. Okay, but what exactly happened? Like, what, did they break up because he went to art school and he didn't tell her? Like, he kisses my forehead gently before nestling in for what will probably turn out to be a nap for the both of us. Just you and me forever. Right. Forever. And I couldn't be happier. Alright, so this part of Ian definitely takes place before Ian and Jack, because, well, they're still together. Character and Ian are still together. And it seems like for me, like he. He moved away to go to art school. Maybe he didn't tell our character before because he was nervous about telling her. I feel like that's what happened, and he just went anyway. Like, I feel like. Maybe happens and whatnot. I don't know. It seems like that's what happened. Ian seems like a nice guy. It's so that he, I'm assuming that he did something bad to cause their breakup. But yeah. Is that there all to it? That yeah, seems to be it. Um, and next time I will come back with the... I'm pretty sure there will be a different ending to this. So I'm not going to end to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!